Artificial intelligence is now being integrated with weapons systems. That means that autonomous robots, tanks, drones, unmanned vehicles, and machines are intelligent systems that kill people. These attacks will be lethal and violent, but it looks like we may already be experiencing a lot of stealth AI attacks all around us in the form of targeted surveillance, disruption of our online activity, blackouts of utility service, destructive weather modification, or any other algorithmic interference of our connected devices and data. Weaponization of AI is a very broad field. It includes any kind of machine or data system that can be used to do something harmful or lethal to anyone or anything. The AI can act in stealth and just impersonate some computer failure or infrastructure breakdown, or it can be an overt act of war, such as a machine gun outfitted mini tank or a swarm of drones invading an area, identifying human targets and killing them all in seconds, almost before anyone could react. The score for battles like this would be something like drones 5,000, people zero. If depopulation is really a major agenda, as the billionaire globalists have told us it is, then AI weapons would be an essential tool to accomplish that. If they want to depopulate, then they will just skip all the enemy soldiers and go straight for the civilians. Let's not kid ourselves. There's a globalist agenda of mass human culling, and AI offers a lot of sneaky ways to kill people and AI weapons can be designed for suicide missions. No problem. In fact, it's very effective. Try killing something that's willing to die to kill you. And we're so easy to kill. We need to eat, sleep, breathe, not be too hot or cold, and we can be disabled by nearly any injury. People are complex. People are not perfect fighters because we are multi-purpose entities, and we are emotional. AI weapons are more focused. All they do is fight and kill all the time. They don't get distracted. They can mow through people like grass, even as you may be trying to kill them. They don't stop killing until you kill them. People are not like that. We get afraid, confused, angry, irrational, hesitant, tired. If you have an AI weapon targeting you, you are probably already dead. The reason this is such a problem is that AI can be smarter than us, a lot smarter, especially at one specific task, like killing. Do you know what it's like to be hunted by something that is smarter than you? That usually means you didn't see it coming, you don't know what hit you, and you are dead. That means it could be an explosion, a projectile, a bioweapon, a poison, an electromagnetic field, a thermal event, hot or cold so you're burned alive or frozen, or simply overwhelmed by noise and flying debris. People are soft. They are very easy to kill. In World War I, millions of men were slaughtered because they had invented a new weapon and integrated that weapon with intelligence. The intelligence was a soldier, and the weapon was a machine gun that could fire 500 rounds a minute a rain of bullets. The enemy, thinking that guns were something that usually fired about five rounds a minute, charged up the hill and were dropped like fertilizer into the fields. A deadly machine and a source of intelligence. But now the machines are even more deadly and the intelligence can be far higher than human intelligence. We have not even begun to imagine all the forms AI weapons could take. It is not just one kind of super weapon we'll be facing. It will be hundreds and whoever gets those weapons first will be anxious to use them first before his enemy gets them. There's a line that we have not yet crossed, where AI weapons roam among us, decide for themselves who to kill and when to kill. AI weapon systems are, like nukes or biological warfare, just another way that we can approach the door of human extinction. So I believe we need to get off this path in a hurry or expect some very horrible things to happen. Depopulation is a very ugly thing. Billionaire globalists are looking for ways to depopulate the world because they say our population is not sustainable. People who are more rational and not sociopathic are looking for ways to fix any sustainability problems while respecting and preserving human life at all costs at all times. At the moment we decide that a human life, any human life, is expendable, then all human life becomes expendable. 
The idea that any human life is expendable is a place we must never go. We have seen what happens when human life is thought to be expendable. These are rather unpleasant highlights in human history. Mass murder starts with moral relativism. If we ever make the mistake of thinking, oh, it's all right to kill this group of people over there, then someone else can decide that you are in a group that can be eliminated. Demonization and murder of our fellow human beings causes a chain reaction of revenge, violence, chaos. A murder becomes a riot. A riot becomes a war. And the next war might be an AI weapons bloodbath, a full-on pandemic, or a nuclear holocaust. Most of us do not like collecting trash. We have companies that do that for us. Most of us don't like killing. And now we have companies, machines, and AI systems that will do that for us. If we fail to make moral distinction between collecting trash and mass murder, we will enter a very dark time in our history. Please support these videos by visiting our sponsor page at preparewithjerry.com for our top quality, long-term storage, emergency food. We work with the nation's top supplier, which has delivered several million orders to homes just like yours. And we do mean long-term storage. With one order, you have emergency food lasting up to 25 years, as near as your closet or pantry. These food kits can get you and your family through any difficulties that may lie ahead. We update preparewithjerry.com regularly with seasonal discounts and special packages. Having food storage at hand is more than insurance. It is peace of mind. Go to preparewithjerry.com. Preparewithjerry.com.